In this video, we're going to continue working with natural logs. Just now, we're going to look at simplifying them. We're going to look at writing them as a single natural logarithm. The way we do that is by applying our properties of logarithms that we've learned before, which are the product of logs, the quotient of logs, and the power of logs. So let's try this out. We have 3 times the natural log of 10 minus the natural log of 8. I see 3 times the natural log. I am multiplying 2 log. That's like multiplying to an exponent, which is our power rule. I then notice that I am subtracting my logs, much like subtracting exponents. That is your quotient rule. Remember, you need to ask yourself, which comes first? Do you do your quotient rule first, or do you do your power rule first? And I follow the order of operations and deal with anything involving exponents first. So this 3 comes out of the coefficient and goes up to the power of 10. And so we have natural log of 10 cubed minus natural log of 8. 10 cubed is 1,000. So we have natural log of 1,000 minus natural log of 8. And now we apply our quotient rule. Natural log of 1,000 divided by 8. Now, if I take 1,000 and divide by 8, I get 125. And so this can be simplified to the natural log of 125. So our properties of logs still work because natural logs are logs with a base E. We just use LN for shorthand for it. We can still apply our product, our quotient, and our power of logs. I have an example 2, 2 times the natural log of 5 plus 4 times the natural log of 2 plus natural log of 5y. How do we simplify this? I do see I'm dealing with my power rule for two of the terms. This 2 can come up to become the exponent of the 5. This 4 can come up to become the exponent of the 2. So really, I have natural log of 5 squared plus natural log of 2 to the 4th. And I'm just going to leave this natural log of 5y alone. Well, 5 squared is 25. 2 to the 4th is 16. So really, I have natural log of 25 plus natural log of 16 plus natural log of 5y. I'm adding logs. That is my product rule, like adding exponents. So what does that mean? To combine them into a single expression, you multiply all of them together. You multiply 25 times 16 times 5y. And so 25 times 16 is 400 times 5 is 2,000. So we have the natural log of 2,000y. And then we combine them into a single natural logarithmic expression for this. So we can still apply our properties of logs. And that's the key of this video. You do remember your power, your quotient, and your product rule, and the order that you do them with your expressions for combining.